This is a brief tour of this Blackboard website. I'm basically going to walk you through everything that you're going to see on this website so that you know where to find stuff. So when you first click on the page, you will come to the announcements. And I've already got a couple of announcements here, including the welcome announcement at the very bottom. Let's go over here to faculty information. And here's where you can find everything you need to know about me, including, most importantly, my office hours. Uh, the next thing that we have is the syllabus and schedule. And the first thing that you will see is the course schedule. We'll pretty well follow this schedule exactly, but if there are any changes, I will make the changes here and I will also announce them on Blackboard. So if you want to know what assignments are due when, read through the schedule. And then there's the course syllabus and then there is the syllabus that applies to all courses at CWI. The next button is the assignments button, which is a very important button. And up here, up here at the top I have the Ask the Instructor discussion board. This discussion board is where you can ask any questions of me that apply to the course. So if you have questions about an assignment, if you have questions about material, um, information, you're just not understanding bacteroides, go ahead and post your question here and I will be checking it Monday through Friday except for holidays and breaks. I might check them then but don't count on it. So anything that you have a question on, unless it's of a more personal nature, go ahead and email me those. And if you have a question, go through and take a look and see if I've already answered that question or if one of your classmates has already answered that question. Now, the course is broken into topics. Basically, there's one topic per week. And for each one, I will let you know what's inside the learning module. Then when you click on the learning module, you will see a list of what's in the learning module. Now you can either click through them one at a time like this and go in order or you can click on anything that you're interested in. So let's go ahead and start up at the top. I always put the videos first so go ahead and watch the videos. I'll have a topic overview for you so that you get an overall view of what we're going to be talking about that week. And then next I have required reading. Now some of them just list things that you need to read. For example, I showed you where the course schedule is, where the syllabus is. Missing microbes, you should have that book by now. And I'm telling you to read chapter one. And then I have two things that you will see them underneath here, like where the microbes are and microbe of the week, bacteroides. And then after that, I have information on how to join my office hours. And then after that, I have a reminder to do the Starting Strong assignments. And then I have the activities. So here I have um, your activity for the week. Then the next thing is going to be where you submit it. And then at the end of every topic, we have a comprehension quiz. Yes, I want to leave the assignment. And so at the end of each topic, we have a comprehension quiz. Now, I've also broken things down into units. We have an exam over each unit, and they'll be open book, open note, that kind of thing, but you only get to take it once, whereas the comprehension quizzes, you can take them as many times as you want before the due date. Now, the next button down is course documents. I have two folders underneath here. I have directions and examples. So for any assignment that has lengthy directions, I will put that before the assignment and I will also put it here so that you can see them ahead of time. You don't have to remember which topic it went with. Now, let's go look at examples. I'm more of a visual person and I do better if you show me an example of what you want. So here I have two examples of how to properly cite a paper and I have an example of a properly cited lab report. You guys won't have to do lab reports, but it was really good. I went through and made a lot of comments on it. And then I have a bad example. Now let's take a look at the comments. So you'll want to download a copy. I'm going to open it with a word. 
And see all these little comment boxes? You go ahead and click on that puppy. Or you can download it and view it come on, in edit document. And then you'll see them off to the side and you won't have to click on the little bubbles. So let's go ahead and go back to one thing that you will not see over here is a link to discussion boards. We will have some discussion boards, but I want everybody to be discussing them at the same time. And if I per, if I put a link to the discussion board, then people have a tendency to go in and try to do stuff early. And so the discussion boards will show up under the proper week, the Saturday before the initial post is due. Now the initial posts are always due on a Wednesday, so it'll show up that previous Saturday. That way if you're working ahead, you're free to work ahead, but you have to come back and talk to everybody in a big virtual study group about the material. So that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions about where to find things. I'm happy to answer questions.